Ever built Lego at 40,000 feet in the air? This is part four of working on the giant Lego Artemis build. I was on a trip, so I was working on it on the plane. Once I had the wheel, then I could scale everything else to that wheel, and an easy way of doing that was to import a reference image into Studio. I can adjust the size of these to be about the same scale as my wheel. Then I got a really handy visual guide as I build. Just like the model that I built in Tinkercad, I want to work on this full-size build in chunks. Chunk for the slab that holds everything together, then a chunk for the frame, seats, the crane, all of those one at a time. Ideally, I would keep everything nice and organized as I go along, putting them into groups, into steps, but I don't do that. I tend to get caught up in the building phase. I just wanna build, 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 and I leave a whole bunch of pieces all around the place. What I try to do is after I've built a chunk, then I'll go back, tidy everything up, put it into groups, chaos order, chaos, or certain design ideas that come out of the Lego bricks themselves. As I was building this frame, I was using angle bricks to add some more interesting detail to where the beams meet. For the seats, I'm doing something different. I wanna add a tight of humanity to this vehicle. I've used a lot of curved round pieces to make it look more comfy for the astronauts. And it's a nice contrast to all the angularity of the rest of the vehicle.